Und damit herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Runde von Fire Emblem Warriors Free Hopes. Wir sind hier im Camp, direkt neben Alois. Mit ihm reden wir und dann geht's ganz schnell weiter. Hast du schon mit den Haussprecher geredet? Was, du verlässt uns? Aber das geht doch nicht. Eigentlich hatte ich gehofft, dich um etwas bitten zu können. Würdest du mir Gehör schenken? Als hätten wir eine andere Wahl. My sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Remire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but... Well, perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garagmark Monastery instead. And why would I do that exactly? Because you've done us a great service and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also, between you and me, this evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officers' Academy out of our sight, and house leaders of great political consequence at that. And then they crossed swords with bandits. If word got out, well, let's just say it would sit poorly with everyone. Ich meine, stellt euch mal vor, da wäre jetzt wirklich was passiert. Ich meine, Claude wäre wahrscheinlich noch derjenige, der von den dreien am entbehrlichsten wäre. So halt, die äh, Allianz würde dann sicherlich irgendeinen anderen Erben bestimmen. Die sind ja nicht an der Blutlinie so offensichtlich gebunden wie das Kaiserreich oder das Königreich. So halt, ich glaube, da wäre schon was los. Wobei, ich glaube, am meisten wäre da noch bei Edelgard was los. Weil halt, so halt, da gibt es ja wirklich dann außer dem amtierenden Kaiser niemanden mehr, der den Thron übernehmen könnte. Bei Dimitri im Königreich gibt es ja wenigstens noch seinen Onkel. Aber der hat keinen Wappen. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softy. Well, what do you think? Garrick Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be. But this man seems rather set on having us accompany them. Naja, an sich haben wir keine andere Wahl, so halt. Wenn wir nicht gehen, dann schleppen die uns mit. You make a poor case, Alois, but I can see where this is heading. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. Ja. Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. Hmm? Told me what? Told you how dashing you are in that armor! <laughs> Not just any man can pull off that look. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit, I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last ding and dent. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Oh, yeah. Well, take this one here. We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Mock. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might add? I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this considering you're only here because of us, but... Well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The Knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. Irgendwie hat Cloud da gerade so überrascht geguckt, ne? No one gets a say when they're up against a squadron of knights. No, I suppose not. 
Apologies again for dragging you into this mess. Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! <laughs> Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. Thanks, Claude. I know you will. Oder auch nicht. Je nachdem, für welche Route man sich entscheidet. You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself. But what do you make of them? Tja, also ich mag sie eigentlich alle ganz gerne. Claude's a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble. And I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's gonna be easy to work with. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me every chance he gets. He'll definitely make a good king. The kind who looks after his people. Seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. <laughs> of course you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? No. Zu viel der Ehre. Still, you better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. Ah, mal kurz speichern. Und weiter geht's. Prolog. Three houses. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Gerig Mach's Officer's Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gerig Mach. Gerig Mach, Kirche de Zerus. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of? Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. Uh, I'm just glad I could help. Such modesty is not required around me. Your actions were truly commendable. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the officer's academy here at the monastery, yes? We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. Tja, wir lehnen einfach mal ab. But the world's got other plans for me. I can't afford to stay here forever. Oh, this would not be forever. You would only be enrolled for one year. Bear in mind that the Knights of Seros and many other powerful warriors pass through these gates. Whether you seek to someday become an officer or simply increase your own strength, this environment will undoubtedly aid in your pursuits. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. Tja, dann haben wir aber keine andere Wahl. A wise decision. 
We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodland. Some are noble-born, while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Leicester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. Ich meine halt, rein theoretisch müssten wir eigentlich in die goldenen Hirsche gesteckt werden, weil wir ja eigentlich aus Leicester kommen. Aber was die nicht wissen, also halt was, was die nicht weiß, macht sie nicht heiß. Also von daher können wir uns aussuchen. Die blauen Löwen hatten wir bei unserem allerersten Spieldurchlauf. Also, naja, wäre es ziemlicher Waste, die jetzt nochmal zu nehmen. Cloud hatten wir beim letzten Spieldurchlauf. Und ich muss sagen, ich weiß nicht, ob ich den Story-Durchlauf jemals nochmal machen würde. Also... Die goldenen Hirsche sind leider mal wieder wie Dreck behandelt worden. Und zu guter Letzt bleibt noch Edelgards Bude. Die hatten wir noch gar nicht, also rein da. Ist ja nicht so, als hätten wir eine andere Wahl. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. Hi. Nice meeting you, uh, sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, all right? <laughs> Do my ears deceive me, or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the Academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the Church. Die Studenten aus dem Haus der Schwarzen Adler können nun gespielt werden. Sehr schön. Und zwar alle von ihnen. Sehr gut. Dann kann es jetzt ja richtig losgehen. Ich glaube, es gibt eine sehr gute Chance, dass es funktioniert. Vielleicht, Lady Edelgard. 
But is that chance not outweighed by the danger of matters going awry? We have managed to walk the knife's edge so far. But what you are suggesting is open hostility. If they so much as catch wind of our intentions, things will go sideways very quickly. Regardless, this is our last opportunity to save her. Frankly, it's a miracle we even have the chance. I thought you once proclaimed not to believe in miracles, Lady Edelgard. And I don't. At least not the kind one has to sit around and wait for. But right now, everyone is exactly where we need them. Her, the bandits, the string pullers, and the perfect instructor with the perfect mission. I'm going to make this miracle happen, and I will do so for our future. Hmm. Then we'd best have a plan in place to finish the job, in case they catch on. I expected you to burn a few bridges, but this plan would be akin to setting half the countryside on fire. Which is exactly why I'm counting on you, Hubert, and why I'm grateful to have you by my side. Ich frage mich, was Edelgard eigentlich ohne Hubert machen würde. Whoa, wait, what? You're a student now? And not only that, you're one of us? That's great! Wait, stop! I don't know this person! Oh, why are there so many new faces? That's what you get for skipping this year's first field excursion burn. A lot happened. There was even a bandit attack. Did you really not hear about any of this? Bandits? <laughs> now I'm extra glad I skipped out. I must say, the church took a bold step in enrolling you. A decision which I, of course, fully support. You helped Edelgard. And we stand to learn quite a bit from one so skilled. Das ist jetzt zwar schon eine Weile her, aber gerade deswegen möchte ich das gerne nochmal wiederholen. Aber das ist tatsächlich die letzte Rolle, die der Synchronsprecher von Ferdinand gesprochen hat. Der ist kurz nach dem Release von Free Hopes ist der leider verstorben. Also, ja, wollte ich nur mal erwähnt haben. Ich habe die Neugierde, die Kämpfe der Mercenäre zu erwähnen. Wir sollten uns sparen, ein gegen ein. If anyone needs me, I'll be asleep and... Wait, hold on. Do you have a crest? Did Professor Hanneman even check? Oh, he checked all right. Sorry to say I'm certifiably crestless. Strange. You definitely seem the type. But I suppose I'm just imagining it. And now you know the rest of our house. As you already met some of us in camp, I assume you knew what you were getting into. We may not be perfect, but we support each other as best we can. Please try your utmost to get along with everyone. Here approaches Professor Yuritsa. That makes all of us. Remember your mission? We are to eliminate the remaining members of the Iron King's thieves that attacked our camp. The chief, Costas, has already been struck down, and now only a scattering of brigands remain. Even with our limited experience, we should be able to defeat them handily. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Professor. Oh, he's gone. So it would seem. Right then. We'd better get all of our waterfowl in a row. Wait, but I. I need to tell the Professor. I can't participate? Oh, good work, Bernie. Why didn't you speak up sooner? I know what you mean. I never even got the chance to break out my best. Leave it to me, Professor. He's a real tough nut, that's for sure. Says just as much as he has to, and makes tracks. Tja, so is that you say, the greater your mystique. <laughs> True enough. There's not much charm in someone who talks your ear off at every opportunity. Whatever the case, I expect all Black Eagles to participate in this mission, including you, Bernadetta. You can do this. And I look forward to seeing our mercenary friend here in action. Das kriegen wir hin.
zwei Wochen später. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the Knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the Knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe, though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there, it's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Geht's jetzt los? Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? Ja, das klingt wirklich seltsam. We're sinnvoll. leaving. Everyone, follow me. Professor, wait! Well, he must have some idea where the bandits went. Let's hurry after him. Tja, dann folgen wir wohl einfach dem Blutgeruch. Bin ich froh, dass sie das im deutschen Text nicht drin haben. Das klingt nämlich wirklich seltsam. Yuritsa, you shouldn't charge ahead like that. It's far too dangerous. Wait, what is all this? <lacht> bandits! Dead by my hand. Yes, they look quite dead indeed. Are these the miscreants we were meant to deal with? How is one to tell? One uncouth ruffian looks much the same as any other. Do you know, Professor? Were you following some manner of lead? No, but it's them. They were trying to escape to that fortress. That fortress? Yes, Kaspar, that's what he said. Something you want to share? Nope. It just seems suspicious. You are something else, Kaspar. Still, I guess the place does look kind of suspicious. We're near the border of the Kingdom and the Empire, but that is no Imperial outpost. It's not the Kingdoms either, and they're not flying any kind of banner. I'm guessing it's a bandit hideout. Huch, Edelgard, was mit deiner Strähne nicht in Ordnung? Ihre Haare haben ein Eigenleben. Then give us allowance to be storming their base and crushing them under our feet. It might be a little dangerous for us to handle on our own, Petra. Yes, I mean, I agree. We should all, um, go home. Right now. But the bandits might be inside. And they must answer for their crimes. It is our noble duty to finish them off before they can bring harm to another soul. This isn't about nobles. It's about doing the right thing, period. And striking down evil is the Caspar way. Uh, ciao, then. We'll be heroes if we manage to take out an entire Let's bandit go. outpost. I have enough from the kind of I live for. Since when are you so gung-ho? Oh, right. Since always. Enough. This is not our decision to make. Professor Yuritsa? The mission stands. Enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. There are no signs of life. We may be chasing ghosts. Professor! Are you having the ability to speak with ghost spirits? It is just an expression, Petra. It means there is probably no one here. Ah, I am understanding now. You have my thanks. 
This language has much peculiarity some of the times. Well, if that's settled, let us make ready. Make sure you're prepared before we head out. War diese Szene schon immer so lang? Junge. Können wir uns aussuchen, wir mitnehmen? Nö, also let's go. Wenn wir eh nichts einstellen können. Wir wetzen uns einfach kurz durch und fertig. Sehr gut hin. Gesehen? Ach, ist das schön. Wenn das so weitergeht, dauern die Dialoge länger als das eigentliche Gameplay in diesem Kapitel. Was mir recht ist, weil wir waren hier schon ein paar Mal. Der da? Der ist tot. Komm mal kurz auf. So. Und rein hier. Okay, ihr geht alle da hin. Und wir kommen uns hier rum. Wir wissen doch alle, wer du bist, Charlie. Hier ist noch einer. Wir will jetzt ein bisschen Spaß haben. Bis die da sind, sind wir mit denen durch. Oh, eine Truhe. So. Da ist ein Schlüssel. Kümmert euch um den Schlüssel. Ah, hier ist die Framerate wieder so gut. Das gefällt mir. Ah, oh, die Framerate ist so gut. Ich will für immer hier bleiben. Wo ist jetzt der Dieb? Da ist der Dieb. Entschuldigung. Ach, die frame it. Warum kann sie nicht immer so gut sein? So, das ist unser Schlüssel. Hubert. Genau, wir haben Arbeit zu erledigen. Hol dir die Tour. Oh, keine Sorge, wir können dafür sorgen, dass ihr nicht nur wünscht, ihr wärt tot. Wir können dafür sorgen, dass ihr es wirklich seid. Cool, ne? Ist so ein kleiner Zaubertrick, den ich gelernt habe. Ich kann Leute verschwinden lassen. Ich zeig's euch gleich nochmal. Guckt genau hin. Tada! Und weg sind sie. Keine Sorge. Die sind schon weg, Süße. Kannst rauskommen. Ja, mach hin. Wir haben nicht den ganzen Tag Zeit. Los, los. Hopp, hopp. Kümmert euch mal um den da. More bandits that eluded us. Leave none alive. Ähm, tötet jeden Einzelnen von ihnen? Tja, ich denke, Jitza würde sich gut mit Dimitri verstehen. Die haben doch ein ähnliches Mantra. Hi, ja! Entschuldigung, ich bin hier gerade dabei, den Magier zu verprügeln. Stell ich gefälligst hinten an. So, 
ernsthaft. Manchmal nehmen sich diese Gegner hier auch wirklich zu ernst. Entschuldigung, das waren, wir, das waren nur wir. Beachte uns gar nicht. Wir sind hier schneller wieder weg, als du gucken kannst. Bis sehen. Hi. Hi. Oh, und, und uns kannst du diejenigen, die dich im Boden Bodenrahmen nennen. Ich sag doch, der würde sich gut mit Dimitri verstehen. Tada! Ey! Da ist noch einer. Nehmen das Geld auch noch mit. Oh, hi, wo kommst du denn her? Blub, stitzt da einfach. Ach, es hat auch so eine gute Framerate. Ja, 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 überlass das zu mir. Ha! Das werden wir sehen. Der Stärke wurde kombiniert. Ich meine, Edelgard ist auch da. Das sagen sie alle. Wir haben leider zu wenig Gegner getötet. Tut mir das leid. Einfach noch kurz alles einsammeln. Kriegen wir noch ein bisschen Geld. Sehr gut, weiter geht's. Wo waren wir? Ich dachte, ich würde nie mehr frische Luft atmen, für so lange ich lebte. Ich bin nicht sicher, was ich sagen soll, aber danke euch allen. Wie hast du in so einem so schlechten Ort, Monika? Ich hörte, du warst missing in Haus Ox Territory. Ich habe es tatsächlich. In fact, ich war auf der Verge der Graduation, als ich von den schrecklichsten Menschen geschnappt wurde. Oh, wie silly of me, nicht zu introduce myself. I'm Monica von Ox. I'm the eldest child of Baron Ox and one of your highness's most loyal subjects. Seeing as you saved my life, I plan to devote that very life back to helping your cause. You've not changed at all, though I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Monica was a black eagle in last year's class. One might say she's part of the old guard. I'm not sure how I feel about you calling people old. Oh, I see. Schon. Da haben sich zwei gefunden. Hmm. Yes. I think I understand. This all began when the knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the Knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just well. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. <sighs> Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? Now that I think on it, not everyone in that fortress was dressed like a common rogue. 
Perhaps the bandits were mere decoys while some other villain pulled strings behind the scenes. Vielleicht. Vielleicht aber auch nicht. Yeah, there was one real piece of work. Kronja, I think, who managed to escape. I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary. And she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You were on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Weil ihr alle durcheinander geplappert habt wie so aufgescheuchte Hühner. So it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Her Highness can vouch for this, but my memory is quite strong. Try remarkable. You never forget a face, even one seen only at a glance. Your Highness, I um thank you for the compliment. <clears throat> I'm certain of what I saw. The one who kidnapped me was surely Tomas the librarian. Tomas? Impossible. But Tomas has been at Garrick Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But Sir Alois, be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranja, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranja? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seemed preoccupied with her during the battle. Is she a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone! Vanished! Lost! I remember meeting you. But before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had it tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable! Oh, but I do love that about you. And so, the Archbishop has elected to apprehend Tomas. He has been away from Garrig Mach for days now. During his absence, an investigation of his behavior and personal effects laid bare his hostility to the Church. The Knights have been instructed to await his return and take him in. As quietly as possible, of course. We want him alive. So we might discover the whereabouts of his associates. I'm glad they actually believed me. If they doubted you, you would have known it the moment they clapped you in irons and led you away. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? He does. I've lost track of how many times I've spoken to the man. No surprise, Lynn. You practically live at the library. Um, so what did he look like again? Is he the big, burly one? Burly? Not even close! He's a frail old man with a walking stick. From what I understand, he's been at Garrick Mach for 40 years, at least. Das ist ziemlich lange. It is hard to imagine that he had been plotting evil that whole time. I wonder what led to his transformation. Transformation? Would someone not be noticing if Tomas changed his appearance? Hey, erklär mir es dir. Meant a mental transformation, not a physical one. Tomas must have changed his mind about the church at some point. I am excited to have learning of this strange new expression. I must be thanking you. If they were really worried about transformations, you'd expect they would turn their gaze to you. Good to know they're nice enough not to do so. So, this
this Tomas person sent the bandits after us? What an awful man. We're lucky to be alive. You're one to talk, Bernadetta. You weren't even there. Yes. You were not having reason to fear for your continued living. Uh, you're right! Everyone, pipe down! Something's happening outside. Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly. Tja, dann. Schwimmen wir davon. Auf und davon, wie der Wind. There he is. Das sind nicht mal unauffällig festnehmen. That man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. Hm. This doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? Tja, aber ich würde sagen, wir machen an der Stelle eine kurze Pause, sind uns beim nächsten Mal wieder und dann haben wir den Prolog hoffentlich endgültig hinter uns. Das wäre schön. Jedenfalls, wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Bleibt gesund und bis dahin verabschiede ich mich wie immer mit einem Ciao.